Welcome to the On the Edge podcast with your host, Scott Groves. If loan officers aren't scared, let me give them a, a, a news story that kind of flew under the radar that I think should scare loan officers about why you need to be partnering with a company like My Home IQ to do the post closing follow up and become um, the trusted advisor so that you're a client for life. Uh, Truebill, which is a great app that I've used in the past where it's like you put in all your information, it evaluates your bank statements and your credit cards, and it tells you like where you're paying subscriptions that maybe you had forgot about. Truebill got acquired by Quicken Mortgage for $1.3 billion last December. Like Quicken, Rocket Mortgage, they just stroked a check for $1.3 billion in cash, not stock options, not future payouts. They paid a $1.3 $1.3 billion in cash to buy Truebill because they figured out, hey, the best way into the back door of a consumer's mindset for finance is by helping them create budgets and helping them eliminate additional spending that they forgot they were spending money on, right? So this is how Rocket Mortgage is weaseling their way into the consumer's you know homepage on their phone for their app to help them do better with finance. And if I'm a client or if I'm a loan officer who closed a client five years ago and I don't do a good job staying in front of them with like a monthly report, like what Home IQ allows, when they're ready to do a mortgage, they ain't coming back to Scott Groves. They're going to Rocket Mortgage because they're getting advertised all the time through that app, which is constantly evaluating their finances and helping them save money. And now Rocket Mortgage has become more valuable to that client because they're giving them ongoing financial advice. And one of the things we talked about when I was, you know, planning to make an investment is I'm like, hey, is it part of your corporate strategy to sell out to Rocket Mortgage? And you're like, absolutely not. We're in this for the independent realtor and the independent loan officer to create, you know, basically a market segment where you can retain your clients. We don't want to be acquired by Zillow or Rocket Mortgage. That's not what we're building this for. We have the consumer, meaning the consumer of your product, the loan officer and the realtor in mind, and we want to empower those individuals versus like we're just building a product that we can sell to Rocket Mortgage, which was really important to me before I gave you my money because I don't want to invest in something that's then going to sell all my clients' data to Rocket Mortgage. Well, see, and Rocket, they're super smart. Oh, sorry, Alex, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, great, great company. They have it figured out. They just actually launched Rocket Solar. So they're trying to tap into every single solitary piece of the stack that they possibly can. And one of the things when I started getting into, into WeFunder and invested in that and, and looking at companies that were coming up, obviously prop tech and fintech, you know, companies that are in our space was a little bit more attractive to me because that's my business. I noticed a theme from a lot of these different companies that are launching in the space. And they're trying to replace the agent and the loan officer by some piece of tech. They want them out. They've been wanting them out because it's such a big pie. The commissions are just one piece. They want them out. So when we connected the dots between the crowdfunding type of campaign and allowing our users, our raving fans, our friends and family to actually get in this, and Into it's kind of democratizing right? the whole venture capital. We don't have to go down that route down to you know Sand Hill Road. It was just like, we have to do this. Like we could go VC, but we have to do this. We want them to have a voice. We want them to use our product to tell us, hey, if we have this, we're going to win. If we have this, then we're going to win. And then we can go program it and then give it to them. Right. So it's, yep. Yeah, because it's most most VC monies, they want all their cash back in five to 10 years. So they want you to grow your user base and they want you to sell to Rocket Mortgage, right? Because the VC, obviously, they want their freaking money back. I mean, it's just, it's a no brainer for them to build and then sell a small company to a bigger company who sells to a bigger company who sells to, you know, Rocket Mortgage or one of, you know, Bank of America or Wells Fargo or something like that. So it's like the fact that that's not your plan is one of the things I love about the company.